latitudes and longitudes. Our home planet Earth is a part of this vast universe. There are so many places on Earth that in the absence of certain concepts, it would have been impossible to precisely locate any of them. How will you tell someone the exact location of the Coronado Bridge in San Diego? It would be very difficult to explain it. But if the coordinates of the bridge are provided, it would be easy to find its location. The concept of latitudes and longitudes helps us find the precise location of a place on Earth. Latitudes and longitudes are lines that form an invisible grid over the Earth, which allow us to point out the exact location of a place anywhere on the face of this planet. Eratosthenes, the chief librarian at the Great Museum of Alexandria in Egypt, calculated the circumference of the Earth many years ago. On the 21st of June of every year, Eratosthenes observed that when the sun was exactly overhead in Syene, the vertical pillars would cast no shadows, whereas the well would be illuminated all the way to the bottom. This never happened in Alexandria, several kilometers to the north. It was observed that the earth was being hit by parallel rays of the sun at noon on the 21st of June. In Syene, the rays would go straight down the sides of the pillars and further down the well. Meanwhile in Alexandria, Eratosthenes found the angle of the shadow cast by a vertical pillar to be 7 degrees. This angle is equivalent to the angle between two lines drawn from Alexandria and Syene to the center of the earth. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So 7 degrees is about 1 50th of the circumference of the circle. It means that the distance from Syene to Alexandria, 800 kilometers, is equal to 1 50th of the circumference of the Earth. Eratosthenes thus calculated the circumference of the Earth to be 800 kilometers into 50 is equal to 40,000 kilometers. At the same time, Eratosthenes divided the world into 90 slices on either side of the equator for latitudes. For longitudes, he divided the world into 360 degrees like the segments of an orange. centuries, the only way to calculate longitudes was to wait for an eclipse to occur. Today, longitudes are measured by simple navigation satellites in the sky. A latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator, which is measured in degrees. There are a total of 180 parallels of a latitude, and each parallel of latitude is a circle. Their lengths are not equal and become smaller towards the pole. But the distance between any two parallels of latitude is always equal. An equator stands at zero degrees and divides the Earth into the northern hemisphere which is at 90 degrees to the north and the southern hemisphere which is at 90 degrees to the south. The equator lies at zero degrees. The Tropic of Cancer lies at 23.5 degrees north and the Tropic of Capricorn lies 23.5 degrees south. Apart from these, the Arctic Circle lies 
66.5 degrees north and the Antarctic Circle lies 66.5 degrees south. If a line is drawn on the globe from Mumbai to the center of the globe, it would make an angle of 19 degrees with a horizontal line which is the latitude of Mumbai. Mumbai is thus 19 degrees north of the equator. Another angle of 19 degrees can be measured south of the equator and hence N and S of the equator must be mentioned. The region near the equator gets direct sun rays heating up the region. But as we go away from the equator, due to the curvature of the earth, sun rays strike at an angle. So they spread over a larger area and hence do not provide heat to the same extent as direct sun rays. There are three main heat zones of the earth. The first one is the torrid zone, which lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This region receives the direct rays of the sun throughout the year. The second heat zone is the temperate zone, which is of moderate temperature and lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. The rays of the sun are slanted when they fall on this zone. The third zone is the frigid zone, which lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, as well as the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. This region is very cold because the angle of the sun rays goes on decreasing towards the poles and hence the rays falling on this region are very slanting. It is very difficult to find the exact location of a place with the help of latitudes alone. The longitudes also play an important role here. The fixed line of reference running from the North Pole to the South Pole is the prime meridian and an angular distance of a place east or west of the prime meridian is a longitude. There are 360 meridians of longitude and each meridian is a semicircle. All meridians are of equal length but they are not parallel and neither is the distance between two meridians equal. A relationship exists between the longitudes and time. To understand this concept, we first need to understand what local time means. It is the time of a place reckoned by the midday sun at the time of noon. All the places on the same meridian of longitude have noon at the same time. This is the local time for that particular place. The Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation, that is, to complete 360 degrees of its rotation. Therefore, one degree of longitude is 24 into 60 divided by 360 minutes, which comes to 4 minutes or 240 seconds. The Earth rotates from west to east and therefore places in the east see the sun first. For each degree of longitude towards the east, a time of 4 minutes has to be added and for each degree of longitude towards the west, a time of four minutes has to be subtracted. Let us go through the important units that range from a day to a second. Earth takes 24 hours to complete 360 degrees of longitude. That is, it takes one hour to complete 15 degrees of longitude. 
one minute to complete 15 minutes of longitude and one second to complete 15 seconds of longitude. There are about 30 meridians of longitudes cutting through India, which means that India has about 30 different local times capable of causing a lot of confusion. To avoid this confusion, we use standard time, which is the local time of a central place of the country. For instance, in India, the longitude of 82.5 degrees east passing through Allahabad is considered as the standard meridian. So when it is noon on this longitude, that time is taken as noon for the whole country and is known as Indian Standard Time or IST. There is a general understanding to select the standard meridian of any country in multiples of 7.5 degrees for simple and convenient calculation. This shows that the time difference between places is in multiples of half an hour. For example, the standard meridian for India is 11 times 7.5 degrees. To maintain the international uniformity, one uniform time corresponding to the prime meridian is adapted by all countries, which is known as the Greenwich Mean Time. East is ahead and West is behind the Greenwich Mean Time. Every 15 degrees East or West of the Greenwich Meridian, the time changes by one hour. Let us now learn about the time zones and the international date line. A time zone is that area on the Earth where all clocks record the same time. Since the Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation, it has 24 time zones. One time zone corresponds to 15 degrees of longitude and therefore each time zone makes a difference of one hour. But if both places lie on the same longitude, can they have different dates? To avoid this confusion of dates, a special line called the International Date Line was created, which coincides with a longitude of 180 degrees. The International Date Line is not a straight line and follows a zigzag course to pass over only sea or oceans. Let us see how the International Date Line is helpful. When ships or planes traveling eastward cross this line, they add a day and when they are traveling westward, they deduct a day. Velen in Siberia and Nome in Alaska, which are just a few miles away from each other, are on opposite sides of the international date line and have different days. If it is Wednesday in Velen, it is Tuesday in Nome. Due to the Earth's rotation from west to east, noon comes first to the eastern places and then to the west side regions. For example, in India, the sun first comes over Kolkata, being the eastern city, and then over Mumbai, which is in the west. To conclude, we can say that the system of latitudes and longitudes is an important coordinate system that not only helps us find exact locations on Earth, but also solves the confusion of date and time.